Hi, this is John with Flat 6 Motorsports. Today we have the Project 992 Carrera in the shop on the dyno, and we're gonna do the stage four setup with it. So let's get into it. So we have the Project 992 Carrera, which is really nice because it gives us a consistent basis to test different setups. So at flat6.com, we have several power kits for the Carrera uh, from a stage one all the way through a four plus. Now we've done quite a few of these stage four setups on the Carrera already, but having the same car allows us to validate that, you know, and they're the same conditions uh, with the exact same engine and all that. So it's really helpful for us from a testing and validation standpoint to do it on one car. And we have gone through the stage one, two, three, three plus with the uh, GTS turbos on this car. Now we have the Pure 800 turbos, which is the major part of this Stage 4 kit. Um, so the Stage 4 kit includes the Pure 800 turbos. This car also has the CSF intercooler. It also has the IPD plenum, DO88 inlets and pressure hoses, and then it has a Klein competition valved exhaust as well. So essentially this is a full bolt-on car with a Pure 800. So we're gonna be running just 93 pump octane through it now. Um, we're gonna go through the tuning process, which is a custom tuning process by M Engineering. Uh, so we're gonna show you how that works. And then in the future, we're also gonna add methanol to it, but that'll be in a future episode. Uh, let's just walk through the process real quick. So that's what a stage four kit is for the 992 Carrera. Um, the pro tuning process requires logging. So we're here with a car on the dyno, uh, but you can also do this from the street. A dyno makes it a little bit easier to do. And basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna do runs while we're data logging. And then um, M Engineering is going to review those logs, uh, update the map, uh, do some changes to the calibration, and then we'll validate the performance and uh, make sure everything is make power in a safe range. All right, so we already sent the logs to M Engineering and they've already sent back a revised file. So we're just going to load that file, flash it to the car, and we're gonna start that process all over again after we've done flashing. We're gonna do another dyno pull, data logs, rinse and repeat until we get this thing dialed in. All right, so we finished with the dyno, got everything dialed in, and the results were absolutely incredible. We put over 600 wheel horsepower with the setup, which represents about 240 more horsepower than stock at the wheels, and 267 foot-pounds of torque greater than stock at the wheels. So absolutely significant gains. We're up about 70 to 80 horsepower from the GTS turbos as well, so quite significant gains. Most of that power gain is gonna be up top, uh, relative to the GTS turbo. So that's probably gonna be about the 6,000 to 7,500 RPM range where that really shines and the flow of the pure turbos really helps. Now at the beginning of this project, our goal was to take a Carrera and make it faster than a stock 992 Turbo S. And we've probably done that. We're gonna do some testing here soon just to see if we can validate that. But you can see here on this dyno that the Carrera currently as it sits is making about 50 to 60 more horsepower at the wheels than the 992 Turbo S. Now it doesn't quite have the same amount of torque because of the larger displacement of the turbo motor and the VTGs, but it's making more power, particularly up top. So it should pull better, 60 to 130. It does have better power to weight ratio. It doesn't have as sophisticated of a launch system, obviously as the all wheel drive turbo, uh, but we do think that it's gonna put down impressive times. Now road testing the car just quickly, it feels significantly faster. Um, very much that boosted, starting to push the envelope of uh, chassis control, but it's still very fun and controllable, uh, but it has a little more drama than, uh, you know, compared to a turbo. Um, really like where the car sits today, but we're gonna take it a step further here on the next episode. We're gonna include uh, methanol. So we're gonna put our flat six motorsports water meth kit on the car. Uh, we're hoping to squeeze some more power out. We definitely think we will be able to. Um, and then we might also, just at the end, uh, play with some higher octane fuel if we have some time just to see what the absolute potential of this platform is. Um, so we're gonna do some performance testing here pretty soon. Uh, so we should have some zero to 60 quarter mile uh, times, some 60 to 130 times with a stage four setup. And then of course we'll uh, add the meth and just see what the ultimate potential is. Um, we ran a 10.7 with the GTS setup. It would be really awesome if we could see a nine second at the drag strip. We'll probably get to the drag strip at some point. 
Um, it's starting to cool down here in Florida, so maybe in the next uh, month or two we'll get there and see what we can do. I uh, hope you enjoyed this episode. Really speaks to the power potential of this 992 platform. It's been a fun project and we're excited to see its true potential realized here pretty soon. Uh, if you have any questions on 992 or interested in modifications, check us out at flat6.com. Thanks, we'll see you in the next one.